growing up, my dad always would rope me in to make lots of pies, and so I'd spend many hours uh, peeling apples. I also enjoyed making banana bread, cookies. I really loved baking. And um, actually in high school, Anna's family lived outside of Stockton, in sort of the countryside near Linden. So she would come over a lot. So we started baking together and we'd give away the pies for fun. I had always expected to have work that gave me a strong sense of purpose. and. Um, I just had a really hard time finding that, and I was surprised because I like working hard. Anna had been to visit me and um, had suggested that, like, if I wanted to start a business, that she would still be open to it. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to do it. We were like, what if we did like a bre breakfast biscuit sandwich concept, or what about a cookie CSA or something? Um, but. All of a sudden it just dawned on us, like, duh. So it just became sort of a delicious way to, you know, sell a product that we were really passionate about, but also that was really delicious that, that sort of also reminded us of home. I think owning a business is very stressful, no matter, like, regardless of, you know, working with your best friend or not. Um, and so I think you just have to really value when you're in those stressful times, like having like, you know, a partner in crime. Um, we're at Frog Hollow Farm. This is a stand where we buy a lot of our stone fruit, um, our pears during pear season. We were brought up in a community of, that was very um, agriculturally centric. Um, we, most of our, the families that we grew up with, like, either were farmers or had some sort of hand in, like, packing and distributing. These look delicious. What kind of strawberries are these? Um, oh, the Albion. Yeah. Okay. These are the best today? Okay. Sounds good. The farmers are, like, pretty loyal to you, so we'll actually pick them up from other markets if they're elsewhere during the week. Um, but we buy all of our rhubarb, our strawberries, our apples, our peaches, our plums, our cherries, um, our blueberries all that we buy here. Okay, this is our uh, spinach, herb, and goat cheese quiche. These guys over here are um, our lemon cheesecake, actually. These are our mini little baby bourbon pecans. The pecans are from the Central Valley. We still make pies like in a very similar way, you know, just with like the tenets of, you know, pastry making in general. You keep your butter cold, you, you know, you cut your fat into your flour. It's just, you know, use in-season produce. here in San Francisco at the Ferry Plaza Farmers Market, but we have these very long growing seasons for great produce and it tastes a lot better. So we, we definitely have a leg up on people in other places, I think, because the ingredients that we're working with are just so much better here. I think in the Bay Area and in San Francisco, uh, in specific, um, the food scene here is so rich. We have made so many friends in the food industry and everybody really helps each other out. I think that really helps. We've had so many restaurant friends that have like, you know, let us have pop-ups there for that we don't, since we don't have our own brick and mortar, we sell at the Ferry Plaza Farmer's Market on Saturdays. That's really our only retail outlet. We are trying to, um, to come from a place where we don't have it's not like we have trust funds or anything, you know, we don't have families who can really support us financially. So we're like making it from zero, like a truly bootstrap business. I actually think it's quite rare to find that because it's, it's so hard to pull off and the amount of just like grit and pain tolerance that you need is, is very high. Business relationships and also marriage are very similar. Like, um, so sort of the same advice that you would give or get if you are in a long-term relationship about like showing appreciation for what your partner does. Since our story is so rich and since you know you kind of let our product speak for itself, um, I think that as long as you you know have integrity and putting your best foot forward, people you know see that, they identify that. Yeah.